Hi there. I've come with my character Susie to show you some new aspects of the game that you might not have seen yet. Susie's come to Amazon Ireland, which is full of Amazon-esque creatures who want to attack me. As you can see, Susie can hit quite fast with her weapon and she's able to kill these creatures and pick up items from their corpses to put in her own bag. She's got a cat with her, Pippin, who keeps getting hungry. I want to feed Pippin just one fish. So what I'm going to do is press control, click on the stack of fish in my bag and drag and drop on the ground. I only want to drop one fish, which I can do because I pressed control. And now Pippin just goes and eats my one fish. Okay, here I go. I'm going to explore the island. <gasps> All right, I've been warned about this place and the fearsome women that inhabit it, but I wasn't expecting a giant. So I'm gonna have a go at defeating her. Because she's hitting me quite hard, what I'm gonna do is eat some of this soup while she, the Amazon S giant hits me. What level is she? Level 175. Susie's level 310, so it should be a fair fight but it still has taken quite a while to kill her. I've got some pretty good loots from that corpse. Here we are. I'm not sure if you've seen an archer before, but they attack you from a distance and they continuously move their position to get the best and optimal distance away from you to use their ranged attack. So your best method of defense against them is actually to attack them but at a close range so you need to trap them against some hard object like here the end of the tent the reason that i'm traveling northwards on the map is because i can see that there's an interesting looking portal and i want to see what's in it so i'm just making my way up Without letting too many creatures attack me at once, I'm trying to make sure that I take care of each of them before I move on to the next place. Because the more creatures that attack me at once, the more danger I'm in. I'm just going to let that Amazon S stay there and move into the next zone. This looks very different. This is a non-playing character for me to talk to. I'm going to say hi. Hi. This non-playing character hasn't given me much of a hint of what I should say to her. There's no blue keywords, and it's not really a question that she's asked me. So I'm just going to use one of the keywords I've been suggested. Let's try help. Well, that's pretty fair advice. I did get pummeled on the way here. Let's ask her about her job. I guess I should have realised that from common sense. This princess doesn't have a job. Mm, I can ask her about what kind of items she might have to offer me. Nothing. So I think the thing I want to try is to see if she has a quest for me. She'd like a drink. I think we should say yes. Fantastic. Let's just see what happens if I say drink right now. Nothing. She's not got a nice drink. I'm going to say goodbye and then I'm going to head off. And back into the Amazon land. So, that's just a picture of what you can experience when you explore a new place. You'll find new creatures that you haven't expected to find. You'll find interesting new scenery and you'll find creatures to fight that you haven't necessarily met before. Some of them might drop interesting new items like this red shield or this giant heart. Also, you can experience archers with a ranged attack and for those you want to trap them. And if, like me, you take a pet around with you, just remember to be kind and feed it before it starts.